raw spirit musician. William Eaton is also a serious athlete. Raw vegan friendly, raw vegan most of the time. William, I'm wondering, what are you training for and why? I'm training for the pole vault. How's it been going so far? So far, so good. Uh, I've been at it about three years and I've been at uh, two national meets and a world meet. I uh, got second in the world. In the world of pole vaulting, we're not achieving great heights, but at our age, we're still doing it. That's phenomenal. Where do you get your energy from? The ionized air and in the times when it's raining or in the high altitudes when you go hiking up the mountains, oxygenating the body for any kind of athletic event. The food that I eat and the way I think about the world around me and think about what I'm doing, being aware of energy. I think there's a possibility of acquiring that and being a part of something that's larger than ourselves to allow energy to come to us. So having a conscious relationship with the energy field itself. What are the foods that nourish you most, that give you the most energy? My favorites are what you find out in the wild. There's all kinds of things. Oh, that's you know as know. well as most. Uh, actually, I was trying to think of one of the things we did in the water there, pulling up the cattail roots, that's which right. is one of my favorites. In fact, I think one of my favorite food combinations is you go down to the Havasu Falls, you don't take anything with you, you drink the water, you eat the cattail yes. roots, and the grape leaves. The wild greens. The uh, wild greens. Mustard. The mustard greens. Mm -hmm. The mesquite pods. And you just feast. And after a few days, you, you feel alive. Fantastic. So. Do you eat a lot of sprouts? You seem to have a spring in your step. One of my good friends is Victorious Kulvinskis. Learned about his writing and his experimentation with sprouts, yeah. It's a big part of the diet. That makes sense because it yes. seems as if you are an anti gravity device unto yourself. I don't know if that's attributable to sprouts. I'm experimenting, I'm trying to learn more. One thing that's always fascinating to me if I fast for five or six days, seven days, you'd think you get weaker. But at my age, you actually get a little stronger for a few days.